Now, the FAA is investigating after Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket experienced an anomaly during today's flight. The capsule, with only experiments on board, parachuted to safety while the rocket came crashing back to Earth. The mishap happening as NASA works to get its huge moon rocket off the ground, hopefully in the coming weeks. News 6 is Eric Von Anken on the Space Coast following all of these details. Eric? Matt, if nothing else, this anomaly is a testament to modern launch abort systems on modern rockets. Apparently, they work quite well. Blue Origin still, though, isn't saying much about exactly what happened over in Texas, only that their escape system successfully separated the capsule from that booster. Up until today's 23rd flight of this suborbital rocket, Blue Origin had never needed its launch abort system. Throttle back and then continue on up to space. But it was built into the design in case something like this happened. The Blue Origin booster seemed to veer off course, then the capsule ejected itself, floating gently back down to the ground, protecting its cargo inside the capsule. There were no people on board, no space tourists. Not today. This would have saved astronauts had they been on board, it appears. Correct? Yeah, that's right. And so if there is a silver lining in this for Blue Origin, it's that they've now got pretty obvious proof their escape system works. But that still is a, is a major setback, having a booster malfunction like that and losing the rocket. Blue Origin is building that same type of launch abort capability into its bigger rocket under construction here on the Space Coast. SpaceX uses a similar escape system on its Falcon 9 rocket tested successfully several years ago to protect astronauts inside the Dragon capsule. And the Space Launch System, NASA's Mega Moon rocket, also has an abort system built in to save the Orion capsule. But on the Artemis 1 launch, that launch abort system will not be enabled because there will be no astronauts on board, NASA says. And as much as this anomaly and the use of the launch abort system might be a confidence booster, perhaps, to future space tourists, this is still, by all means, a setback for Blue Origin. The FAA is now involved, and they're not going to let them fly until they get to the bottom of this. For now, live on the Space Coast, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.